everyone, it's Jaden and welcome back to another studio vlog. This is going to be a little day in my life studio vlog and today, or to start today, we're going to go on a little adventure. I'm going to go get some coffee, surprise surprise, and a donut because I've just really been wanting one and the windshield wipers I don't know what my grandmother's car they're really weird but anyways I'm going to go do that try calling my grandmother again see if she wants anything but I'll be back once I get back from the store all right so as you can see I'm back I've put my hair up in a clip and I decided okay so I was originally going to go to Dunkin Donuts because they have a thing where if you buy something you get like a free medium iced coffee or whatever but it was super foggy, so I was like, I'm not gonna do that. So I went to one of the local coffee shops that I go to all the time, and I got, since I have like, they do like these little punch cards, and you can get like, once you get enough, you can get like the free drink. So I decided to use one of those, cause I, I had two. So I used one and I got my iced mocha with raspberry. And I also got, cause I went the other day, here and my grandmother got a pumpkin stone and she said it was really good. So I'm going to ooh, eat this and then get to work. I have so many things that I need to get done because the New Market Fall Festival is soon and I need to work on so many more things. I've also finished a ooh, take the thing shaking. But I've also finished like a lot of plushies and I'll have to show you all, but I'm going to eat first and then I'll be back, so. Okay, so now that I have finished eating and all of that jazz, I think the first thing I want to work on is doing this little guy. I think I want to do it digi digitally and make it like a bookmark because I think that would be super cute. So I'm going to try drawing it out and procreate. Then I'm going to print it out on some cardstock that I have and like laminate it and all that good stuff. The only thing is I'd like for it to be double-sided. However, my printer doesn't print double-sided. So uh, that's a problem. I might cover it with like some like maybe colored like scrap paper in the back or something. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. But I'm gonna be drawing this little guy out on Procreate. And then I think I, also did these little drawings on Procreate already and I might print them out to be like some little mini prints and stuff for that because I think that would be cute to offer at like New Market just some cutesy little drawings however I'm going to need to get away to display those so I might get one of those like um what are they called like I've seen people use it I think it's like the nail polish like racks or holders or something like that so yeah but anyways i want to be doing this bookmark and then i'll be back when he's all finished and ready to print out it's the break of dawn i'm not making sense talking to the wall calling it a friend i was in the clear but lines got blurry again it's not very warm when I'm alone in bed So call me in the morning, she's over your head Like a pretty rear with both our cheeks turning red Yeah Never think before I react No, it's bad when I play it back I'm sorry if I fool you Alright, so talking over the air conditioner but I print it out, so I did the little like froggy UFO bookmarks. I like them, I think they're super cute. The only thing is I didn't put like my name anymore on them. And you saw that I tried writing it on this one that I like messed up where you can see like the, the laminate got like super creased. So I tried writing my shop name <laughs> by myself, but my handwriting is really ugly. So I didn't like that, but I like these. I think they're super cute. I need to clean up the edges a little bit more because you can see like some white where I didn't trim it too close enough. But yeah, I like these little guys and the little laminate with the stars and stuff is really fun. And then I printed out some little baby prints. These are like 4x4. Four four, or they're supposed to be 4x4. Four four. I don't know. 
but there's all will be okay with this little bee. The I was born to lie in bed and do nothing bun, and then the I was born to lie in bed and do nothing, like a spooky version with this little bat, which I really like these. I think they're so cute and silly. Some of the, when I first printed it out, I had to replace my, my black ink, but I thought, <laughs> I forgot to do that before I printed the first ones out. So there's like this line. I think you can kind of see it where it's like almost makes like a shadow looking type thing on it. But this could just be like discounted because I want to try to not like they can be just like super cheap little prints. And one thing I like to do with prints, if I don't put them up in like a frame, I do like to clip them onto like my little, um, what's it called, my wall grid that I have in my room. But I got these little baggies, but I don't know if these will fit in here. Hopefully, ooh, they fit perfectly. So I'll just like stick them in here and then like you fold it over and then you tape it and I could put like a little sticker on it with being like four by four print and I don't know, discounted because of yada, yada, yada. But just fold it over. I don't know if I should have trimmed this or not, but I didn't, so <laughs> too late now. But yeah, there we go. So that's all nice and packaged up, and I'm gonna do that with the rest of these. I might, I might just write out like the discounted part instead of like making special little stickers. Or I could do, I've seen like other artists do this like oopsie daisy kind of things and that would be actually really cute. So maybe I'll make like a little tag that's like oopsie daisy, this is like a mistake or something and then they can be discounted. So maybe I'll just do that but I'll package these up and I would need to take out the trash but okay so for my birthday my dad got me Doc Martens and I think I mentioned this before both Doc Martens you need to like um I'm covering up the camera. You gotta break them in, right? And the first time I tried wearing them, cause like the, the guy at the store, he was like, you know, wear them around the house to help kind of break them in, make sure that you wear some long socks and stuff like that. And I was like, okay. The socks I wore were not long enough. And I got like the worst blisters like on the back of like my calves. Insane. I've never had that happen before, like on the back of my leg. So right now I'm trying to break them in and I'm wearing <laughs> these like ridiculously like long socks. These are a nice color though. I actually wore these like last year for Halloween. I was Velma and they were part of my costume, but like my outfit looks ridiculous at the moment. And nothing I can do about it because I'm trying to break these shoes in. But yeah, I think I'll finish packing these up, packaging these little prints up go take out the trash and then i don't know do something else i had fun designing little bookmarks so maybe i'll like try to think of another design i don't know i just i love the look on his face it's so goofy <laughs> he looks so startled about what is happening to him but yeah i might Ooh. i've been like watching some studio vlogs as well as like some true crime videos like i've been watching um rotten mango which is like stephanie Sue's because i used to listen to the podcast a lot but I haven't been lost listening to podcasts as much, but I've been watching the videos because she started like posting them on YouTube. So I've been really into that, but I think I'm gonna take a break from watching stuff and listen to some music. But let me get to this and stop blabbing and I'll be back whenever I decide what to do because I have 50 million different things to do. And I just, I just gotta pick one and just go for it, but I'll be back. All right, so I finally figured out what I could do. So I finished all of the little autumn frogs for the blind boxes, which I love these little guys. <laughs> They're so so goofy looking. I think I think this one might be my favorite. I think she's super cute. But I realized I can print out everything that needs to go on the boxes and stuff, which means I need to make the little cards, like which froggy did you get, which is right here. And I cannot remember how big I printed everything out when I made the other frogs. So I'm just gonna, I don't think they were that small. I'm just gonna go with that. I think, that, I think they were around three inches. I don't remember. That's really bad. Okay, well, 3.15, I don't know. 
but I need to print out all of them, which means making six of them. So I need to do all of that, get them print, get them cut out and all of that, attach it to the boxes. And then I need to, oops, film a video because I found that being like the easier way to like show off all of the frogs. Just, I don't know, I thought that was the easiest way. Though I'm also gonna have to take a picture of them for my shop, but that's if I don't sell all of them. Cause I'm not gonna upload them immediately to my shop. I'm gonna save them for both the New Market Fall Festival and then Dayton Days as well. Like I'll show like a little preview of them, but if I have any left over, then that's when they'll go in my shop. I don't know if I'll be able to print all of these at one time though, just because of like if some of it might get cut off, this part might get cut off. But yeah, I don't know if it's too big or not. I cannot remember. Cause here are the boxes. They're four by four by four. And let me, I'm getting a call. So let me cut this off and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, really quick call. But so I'm gonna see if I can get this formatted to print. And I also need to do the stickers. So I have to get those in Cricut, so that way that can just cut them out. And I also, I'll also need to laminate them, so I need to do that. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I think, I think all of these will fit on a sheet. So there we go. But I can't remember how big I made the like front of the thing here. Let me look. I saved my shop one here, and I know it up them at one point. Here they are. Okay. Summertime for me to wine boxes. It's a little over actually. Because it looks like, based on like this picture, it looks like it takes up like a majority of it. So maybe like three and a half inches or something. I don't know. I'm going to go with that just because I don't want to, I don't know. I'm just going to go with three, three and a half, which means all of them will be able to fit on the page, which kind of sucks, but, you know, what can I do? So I'm going to get all these printed out, laminated, all that jazz, and I'll be back maybe once I'm putting the stickers on the boxes. So, let me do this. <laughs> this is going to take, well, it's not going to take too long, but still, let me get to it. All right, everyone, we're going on another adventure. I haven't printed, finished, uh, I haven't finished printing everything else out yet because I um, wanted to print out some button pins and then I remembered that I need to get something from Dollar Tree so I'm gonna head out there still wearing my absolutely ridiculous shoe and sock combo but I don't feel like changing it so I'm gonna go get that stuff finish putting everything out when I get back and then show you guys the little um what are they called blind boxes so let me get going okay so I'm back from the store so I thought I'd do a little short Dollar Tree haul let me see if I can fit I'll just leave it as it is for now. But I bought, ooh, oh, I got these little beads, or these like little pearl beads, because I love using like little pearls for like different necklaces for plushies and stuff. I got this little tray to put like, this is more for like when I set up at like markets and stuff. I think I might use it for like certain button pins. I'm not 100% sure. So I got that and I need to paint it. I got, I got this little like acrylic or like plastic photo frame to like set up for like um, when I make loveys and put like the little thing like the little thing that like give somebody a lovey as well as the price and then I got ooh, and then I just got this little display easel for the metal tray that I still need to spray paint but yeah that's everything that I got at Dollar Tree. And then I had to run into Walmart to get some stuff for dinner tonight that my grandmother told me to get. And they also have pumpkin spice bagels. So I got myself some of those, which I can't wait to try. But I'm gonna finish printing out everything that I need to print out. And I think I might quickly whip up a little lovey thing to put in here like the little sign so I might quickly whip that up so I can print it out with everything else but yeah 
also I realized when I went to Walmart, I totally forgot to buy some more laminating paper or yeah, laminating sheets. So thankfully I had enough to laminate the little fall frog stickers, especially since I accidentally messed them up the first time because one of them got creased like really badly, which was totally my fault. But I have these ones now. And yeah, so that might be a problem. But at the moment, I don't need anything laminated. And I have scraps that are big enough, like if I wanted to laminate some like bookmarks with just like some plain um, lamination sheets and stuff, then it's like big enough to cover it, you know? So I might design a little lovey thing and print everything off and then I'll be right back. So I'll see ya. actually a, you know a couple more hours until I'll go to bed but I think I'm mainly just going to spend my time designing right now I'm working with some Christmas and wintry stuff as you guys saw I was doing these little reindeer and yeah that's what I'm going to work on for just the rest of the day just kind of getting some designs done especially because some of them are Halloween related and like I said I wanted to turn that into a series but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you have an amazing day and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.